Hello, I'm Paul Lewis Metzger, the director of New Wine, New Wine Skins, and this is New Wine Tastings. Thank you for joining us today, and my guest is Dr. Karen Fancher, my colleague at Multnomah University and Seminary, and she's one of the leaders with Dr. Greg Birch in what we call the MAG DJ. And I actually just saw or actually heard uh, an advertisement for the program on OPB the other day, and it was really cool listening to uh, NPR or what have you, and then uh, finding this clip, this little advertisement for your program. Yeah, it's really exciting to realize that there's people in the public sphere all around who are trying to say, how do we engage from the lens of faith the really complex issues in our world? And so yeah, it's fun it? to have another forum to, to yeah. share about our program. And so Mag DJ, what is that? It's not disc jockey. What, what is no, that referring first to? First of all, we kind of like that, Mag DJ. It makes me feel almost cool to be a part of it, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a Master of Arts in Global Development and Justice Studies. And we realize that as followers of Jesus that we want to engage in the world, but we want to do so thoughtfully with deep understandings of context and so global development we want to go to the places in the world where there has been perhaps war complexity inner cities in America um, God calls us Jesus calls us to go to the um, to the those who are marginalized um, to care for the poor and in in that sense to realize our poverty that we need him that mm -hmm. we need one another mm -hmm. and so we're looking through that lens of how do we be effective practitioners that we engage in, engage in communities in ways that show the heart of Jesus that do it with high professionalism um, with mutuality to come as learners mm -hmm. and the the word justice we're thinking that um, Jesus puts all things right he makes relationships right he that makes all, whole he makes it whole, shalom, and so hmm. right relationship with God, with others, with creation, with ourselves, and that means that we understand, that we give people voice, um, that even the ways that we engage in development are um, honoring those that we seek to come alongside of, rather than from a place of power and setting our own agendas. So we're learning all the yeah. time, um, but it's really a delight to be a part of. I, I really love the emphasis in the program with Mag DJ with uh, the Global Justice Development Thrust. It's really about equity, it's about justice, yeah. it's about uh, being on the same level, not over the top toward right. those you go to serve. You actually to work with them, yeah. not to somehow look at them as objects of your charity. I mean, charity historically was a good word, but it's taken on all kinds of negative associations. But this is about really community development, community yeah. engagement. And like you said, we learn our own poverty as we engage people in poverty, that it's not you come in as the experts right. to think through Paulo Freire's language. And I know right. Dr. Birch right. and I both love Paulo Freire's work, and I'm sure you do as well. But it's the idea that we're learners yeah. and we're not experts, and these are our partners in the work we're doing. Right, so we're called to walk with one another and um, to strengthen one another, to love one another, right? Love your neighbors yourself, mm. but that doesn't mean to set agendas for the other. And sometimes when we see a need, we think we know how to fix it. Mm. And when we have resources, we assume that we are the experts, but we don't understand the dynamics in that context, the skills that are unique in that context, the the priorities of those communities and the ways that we can learn from them what they've already been doing and so often historically development has been people with money or expertise coming in and trying to do four and there's a power disequilibrium there we often miss um, both the sense of what God is doing in us and in the communities as well as what's effective and mm. sustainable. So mm. we're learning um, and in that I think that's where witness begins by the ways that we honor one another, love one another, walk with one another in the complexities. So it's, it's a continual journey. Um, right and yeah. you had mentioned Shalom uh, yeah. a few minutes ago and you're actually going uh, yeah. to be leading a group on a Holy Land tour yeah. and uh, actually registration the deadline is about now it's like just uh, what two days from now and could you tell us a bit about this what I'm calling Holy Land yeah. tour it's not a typical Holy Land tour and uh, you're not going there as tourists yeah. ultimately you're really going from an inquisitive perspective to hear from people of various walks of life and uh, again, perspectives. Could you yeah. speak to what this is going to be about and yeah, what you're hoping to do? To do well, there? first of all, all that, all of my journey in seminary, I thought I would love to go to see the context of the the scripture and to see where Jesus walked, and never had the opportunity. And then teaching in this program, I was asked if I would help to organize 
um, a course and a study tour to um, Israel and Palestine. And so as we were organizing that, we thought, what, what would be the outcomes? What do we really want to achieve? And I have a friend who said tens of thousands of Christians come and take pictures of stones and leave <laughs> every year and they never see the people of the land or understand the dynamics that they're facing and and as followers of Jesus realizing that two percent of the population are Christians and and they're living in a really complex um, place where they're seeking to be people of peace and mm -hmm. and to represent the heart of Jesus and what can we learn from them how can we encourage them how can we learn from the broader context so we've designed this tour just to get glimpses and in a short amount of time we're not going to pretend that we're going to master that context either but we start and we work with um, um, the Holy Land Institute that um, will they're experts in the land and they're going to teach us about the historical context of the gospel. So we will go, we'll be in Jerusalem, we'll be in the Galilee, we'll be in Bethlehem, and we'll learn about um, the dynamics, the historical dynamics, the cultural um, dynamics that were taking place in the time where Jesus walked this earth. And then we'll read the words of Jesus in those contexts. and and reflect and ask God to teach us, what does it mean for me today to apply these words to my life? And how can I learn from those who are seeking to do that in the current context of Israel? And so um, we will, when we read, you know, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God, to think, what does it really mean to be a peacemaker in a, in a challenging situation? It's not passivity, nor is it aggression, mm. it's engagement. And what does, what does redemptive, engagement look like? What does um, humble engagement look like? And so then the, the second part of the tour is we meet with um, with some really strategic people in that context who tell us what it means for them to be people of peace mm -hmm. and um, to learn from them and then to come back here and think about you know, how do I live it out and mm -hmm. I'm still learning that. It's a, it's a challenging trip but it's really um, I think quite a profound experience. Karen, we're at the end of our time, but could you just speak to how someone can find out about the Holy Land Tour sure. work and that you're doing, and it might not just be this year, but in future right. years, and then also the the peace studies emphasis in the Mag DJ. Could you just speak briefly to that, like how can people find out more? Absolutely. So um, we we have a couple days. If there's someone, and we have a couple openings. So if there's someone that would like to join us, they can um, email me at kfancher at multnomah.edu. Um, if you're someone that wants to learn um, to come humbly, to listen, and to reflect on the words of Jesus, um, then you're welcome. And if you'd like to learn about the Mag DJ and our peace building emphasis, you can go to the Multnomah webpage. You can just type in Global Development and Justice Studies. You'll find a link. You can contact Greg Birch or myself. You can contact admissions. We'd love to speak with you. Um, it's always beautiful to see the people that come to the table and mm -hmm. that want to engage these issues. So. Yeah, it's been great. I, I love working with you and Thank Greg in the program and having an opportunity to engage these phenomenal mm -hmm. colleagues, these students who come in with such passions yeah. for justice and community yeah. development work. So, uh, Karen, thanks so much. I learned so much Thank from you. our interaction mm -hmm. and in so thanks many different all. contexts. And uh, I'm Paul Lewis Metzger. This is New Wine, New Wine Skins, and our emphasis on new wine tastings. Thank you for.